Hi, I'm Guido, and in this video I'm going to help you find and use the best free cloud storage providers so you have more space to store your files without having to pay for it. And I have done all of the research so you don't have to. I spent over 100 hours researching free cloud storage and I've signed up and tried out 27 free cloud storage providers. Out of those, I've created the top 10 that I'll share with you in this video. After that, I'll also share this massive comparison table that I made during the research so you can compare all 27 options on all of their features. And make sure to keep watching until the end of this video because at the end I'll also show you how you can use multiple cloud storage accounts from one place which will be really helpful if you're going to sign up for one or more new free accounts. And a quick reference number here before we start. For the average person, a year of taking smartphone photos and videos will be about 20 gigabytes of space. So here's my Google Photos account. It's three years worth of photos and video backups. So it's about 16 gigabytes per year. And I take a pretty average amount of photos and videos. But if you want to be on the safe side, I think 20 GB per year is a good rule of thumb. Now let's get into the top 10. Number one, Filein. 20 plus gigabytes. Out of the reliable cloud storage providers, you can get the most free space at filen.io. If you sign up with a referral link, and you can find mine below this video, you'll start off with 20 gigabytes of free space. If you sign up without a referral link, it will only be 10 gigabytes. You can also earn more space by referring your own friends and earn 10 gigabytes each, up to 30 gigabytes total, which means that you can get up to 50 gigabytes of free storage space at Filein. So 20 gigabytes is a lot of free space that's already four times as much as iCloud and OneDrive. Now Filein is really straightforward to use. You can just drag and drop files to upload them to their web app. And you can share your uploaded files either publicly with a link or to a specific email address. Then another good thing is the mobile app that also allows you to automatically upload your camera folder. Then for desktop, they've got an app that can automatically synchronize a folder to your file in cloud storage. And another good thing is the privacy at Filein because they automatically encrypt all your files and they're zero knowledge end-to-end -end encrypted, which means that nobody except you has any idea what data you're storing, including Filem themselves. So the data privacy is better than that offered by Apple and Google and Microsoft already. All of those do not have zero knowledge end-to-end uh, -end encryption. So that's Filem, a lot of free space, easy to use and good data privacy. If you want to try it out, use the link in the description to get the 20 gigabytes of free storage space instead of 10 when you sign up. Number two, Mega, 20 gigabytes. Mega.io is the successor to Mega Upload and one of the oldest and largest cloud storage providers. Mega is very much privacy centered and also uses zero knowledge encryption. And a free account on Mega.io gives you 20 gigabytes of free storage space. Mega also gives you the option to easily share files with anyone and their mobile app can easily upload all of your media files to the cloud. And they also have a desktop app to easily sync a folder to the cloud. So a free Mega account is pretty similar to a free Filen account, both in size and features. You can just sign up for both if you want, because they're both free. But if you're looking to upgrade later, Filen has a few smaller plans available and is a little cheaper than Mega on their 2TB account. Number three, K Drive 15 gigabytes. So this is K Drive by Infomaniac. And Infomaniac is a Swiss company that offers a lot of different web services and K Drive is only one of them. If you sign up for a free Infomaniac account, you'll get uh, 15 gigabytes of free storage space in your K Drive. Just like the previous two options, K Drive has a mobile app that can back up your photos and videos. And they've got a desktop app that can sync a folder on your desktop, PC or laptop. But the advantage of K-Drive is that you can edit your documents, your presentations, your spreadsheets online. So let me show you. So this file on my K-Drive can be edited here. And you can collaborate with other people so you can work on the same file in real time. 
And I know this is a video about free cloud storage, but if you ever need to upgrade, K-Drive is actually a lot more affordable than both previous options. The current price is about 5.5 euros per month for 2 terabytes of storage space. Number 4, Google Drive, 15 gigabytes, and don't skip this option, I'm going to tell you a secret. So you probably already know about Google Drive, it's Google's cloud storage service, and it gives you up to 15 gigabytes of cloud storage space. And I'm saying up to because the 15 gigabytes of space is actually shared with Google Photos and Gmail. So if you're not using it yet, go to drive.google.com. But if you're already using it and it's full, here's what you should know. And that is that you can have multiple Google accounts and there's actually no limit to the amount of Google accounts you can have. Also, it's very easy to switch between multiple Google accounts. So watch this. I've got this main Google account here. And if you click here, you can switch to another account or click to add another account, which adds it to this list. So if I click on my second account here, you can see that this account also has a Google Drive with its own 15 gigabytes of free storage space. So in short, you can create a second Google account for another 15 gigabytes of Google Drive space and easily switch between accounts whenever you have to. If you ever need more space on one account, you can get a Google One subscription, and these are their prices. So it's the same price for 2TB as Mega, but there are a few other things included in this subscription, and Google has the advantage of Google Docs, Slides and Sheets, so if you want to work online and collaborate, that's better. However, Mega has end-to-end -end encryption and is cheaper than Google if you need more than 2 terabytes. But now back to more free cloud storage space. Number 5, Ice Drive, 10 gigabytes. Everyone who signs up for Ice Drive, and you can find the link below this video, will get 10 gigabytes of free forever storage space. A small downside of Ice Drive is that you cannot edit and collaborate on files stored on Ice Drive. However, they do have better privacy because everything you upload is zero knowledge, end to end encrypted and it's really easy to use. You can drag and drop files to upload them into the web app. You can install the desktop app that allows you to access your ice drive from your file explorer and you can use their mobile app to automatically back up your uh, photos and videos. So ice drive is a really straightforward product with good privacy and everything just works really well. And if you need more space down the road the pricing is also really reasonable. Number 6, iDrive, 10 gigabytes. A free account at iDrive is really similar in features to iDrive. Uh, so they're also zero knowledge end-to-end -end encrypted and a free account gives you 10 gigabytes of free storage space. Um, their web app is very simple to use, you can drag and drop files to upload them. You can install their desktop app to create a sync folder on your PC and they have an Android or iOS app to automatically upload your photos and videos. And it's actually really cheap if you do decide to upgrade, so only 295 for 100 gigabytes, and that's per year, not per month. And if you need more space, 500 gigabytes is only about $10 per year. But you can get 10 gigabytes for completely free you can find the link to sign up below this video. Number 7, Box.com, 10 gigabytes. Box.com has more of a focus on online collaboration than the previous two options that I mentioned. They also give you 10 gigabytes of free storage space, but they have a 250 megabyte file upload limit. However, their interface is really easy to use and you can drag and drop to upload your files. And the advantage of Box.com is this. Go here and then open with Word Online. And then you can edit your files online and they will also automatically be saved to your cloud storage. And apart from that, they have tons of other app integrations. And they also have a desktop app that will automatically sync a folder on your PC. However, there's no automatic camera backup on their mobile app but it's a really good option if you want to do collaborative work online. Link to sign up below this video. Number 8, Coover, 10GB. 
At Coover.eu, you can sign up for 10 GB of free cloud storage space. And unlike Box.com, Coover's mobile app does have the ability to automatically backup your smartphone photos and videos. And you can also use their desktop app to sync a folder on your computer with their cloud storage. But you can also use their web app to which you can drag and drop files to upload. But the most interesting thing about Coover is here, where you can connect your Dropbox, Google Drive and OneDrive. And once you've done that, you can access all of those accounts and the files in them from here. So for instance, this is my Dropbox account and I can just upload or download any files to it from here. Coover also has an optional vault to store your files with zero knowledge end-to-end -end encryption. Editing documents and real-time collaboration is only available on Coover's paid accounts. And if you like Coover's free account and want to upgrade, they've got a really good deal going on right now. So it's $160 once for 1 TB of storage space forever, including all of the paid options like online file editing. And you can find a link to Coover's free account and to this deal below this video. Number 9, pCloud, 10 GB. So this is pCloud where you can get up to 10 GB of free space. However, when you first sign up, you only start off with 2 GB. But you can quickly unlock more by doing some tasks, which is basically trying out the app. pCloud can automatically sync a folder on your PC with their desktop app and can backup photos and videos on your smartphone with their mobile app. Privacy at pCloud is good with zero knowledge end-to-end -end encryption. You can find a link to try out pCloud below this video. Number 10, Yoda Cloud, 5 gigabytes. Yoda Cloud is a Norwegian cloud storage provider that gives you an instant 5 gigabytes of space when you sign up for free. Yoda Cloud can also sync a folder on your PC to the cloud and back up your smartphone. An advantage of Yoda Cloud is that even the free account comes with the option to edit your documents with Microsoft Office Online. So in short, Yoda Cloud is a good option if you need some free cloud storage for your documents online. You can find a link to try it out below this video. So those were my top 10 recommendations. And if you want to see even more options and compare all of them on all of their features, check out the link in the description to find this Google Sheet, which is a massive comparison table that I made while doing all of the research for this video. So it's got 27 cloud storage providers and tells you how much free space you can get from each and whether the free plan has any other limitations here and all of their plans and the pricing per amount of storage as well as their lifetime plans and all of their features here. So you can see whether it can sync a folder on your PC uh, whether it does camera, folder backup, whether you can share files, can share them with a password, can share them with an expiration date, all of that. If you can watch videos stored online, uh, if it has uh, online office. So you can find all of that information here to compare all of them. And every feature also has a link in them to check out how the feature is implemented. So for instance here, Yoda Cloud, online office, it will link to the page where it is explained how online office works on that cloud storage provider. So for all of the features, you can check out how they have been implemented. And then lastly, there's a section here that contains information on their uh, privacy features. Then you can find the review scores. And then there's a, a section that shows the app and device availability. So you can see whether you can use the cloud storage provider on your device. So. That's it, the most complete cloud storage provider comparison table you can find anywhere. And you can find a link to this in the video description. Okay, so if you have decided to sign up for one or more new free cloud storage accounts, you've got a bit of a problem now because your files will be spread out over multiple accounts. Well, I've got a solution right here. It's called MultCloud and it's a free service that allows you to connect multiple cloud storage accounts so that you can access and use them all from one place. So here's my MultCloud and as you can see I've got a lot of cloud storage accounts connected to it already. 
you can just access and use any of these accounts like you would normally. And here's a list of the providers you can add. And you can add even more using WebDAV. The process for most providers comes down to just clicking the provider and entering your username and password, and then clicking a button to allow MultiCloud to connect. And after adding your cloud storage accounts, you can access them from the main page I showed you earlier or from the sidebar here. So I just clicked on pCloud and these are all my files in my pCloud account. And from here I can preview the file, uh, download it, uh, share it, but also copy to and you can then copy it to any of the other cloud storage accounts that you have connected to MultiCloud. And to upload to any of your cloud storage accounts connected to your MultiCloud, you can click Upload File to browse your PC or just drag and drop to start uploading. So that was how to use MultiCloud. Highly recommend it if you have multiple cloud storage accounts. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit like. If you need a link to anything I mentioned, you can find them all in the video description. Uh, let me know which cloud storage provider you signed up for in the comment below. And if you have any questions, you can also comment them below and I'll make sure to help you out. Bye.